Welcome back to the Tiger's Den Podcast, guys. Before we get started, you know what we got to do. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're brand new. Don't forget to ring that bell. Join the Noti Squad and hit those links down in my description. Follow your boy on Facebook, Twitter, and IG at Big C Guide Game. Well, our Tigers moved to 7-0 after a dominating performance over Stanford. 65-7 to was your final. This game was over in the first quarter. Cody Walker finished 20 of 23 for 251, two touchdowns through the air, and he threw two interceptions. Uh, Cody is playing out of his mind so far this season. He is definitely the leader of this offense, and he's shown it every week. On the ground, Pierre Jackson finished with 19 carries for 121 yards and two scores. Cody chipped in with two scores, and Kevin Easley had a touchdown as well. This running game is uh, the best in the country, hands down. Nobody can stop Pierre Jackson right now. He is a monster in the backfield. And then you have Kevin Easley, who has speed, who just comes in and cleans up. And, uh, you know, he could take those runs to the outside, and he could break for big gains. And then Cody Walker, man, uh, even though he only had 25 yards on the ground, he was doing his thing. Out wide, Bobby Smith finished with six catches for 67 yards and a touchdown. Antonio Walker had five catches for 46 yards, three catches for Sheldon Hicks for 66 yards, easily had two catches, Carter had two catches, Harper had uh, two catches, and Tim Clark had a catch for a touchdown. Uh, we are still waiting for that breakout game from Antonio Walker. Uh, you know, this year he really wanted to be on that list for Bolitnikoff. Uh, but this year, he's been kind of quiet. On defense, it was the secondary that carried us, man. Let's start off at the top. Travis Haley finished with six tackles, uh, five solos. Shout out to Aaron Wilkinson, man. Five tackles, and he had three interceptions, including a pick six. Brandon Ginn finished with four tackles. Stovall had three tackles and an interception. Caleb Causey had three tackles, three sacks. Brian Chase, this freshman is amazing, y'all. Three tackles, and he had two interceptions. One was uh, – no, he didn't have a pick six this game. Eric Rodgers in cleanup had an interception. Nick Sellers got his 12th sack of the season. Kent Johnson had an interception that he took back 97 yards to the crib. In all, it was five sacks and eight interceptions for the G-men. Just dominant. And we're digging deeper into the stats, and as you can see – Grambling State just took over this game. 25 first downs, almost doubled the total offense, 501 to 260, 264. Uh, rushing yards, Stanford finished with negative 15 rushing yards. Grambling State had 242. Uh, Stanford did outpass us by 20 yards. We held the Cardinals to 2 of 10 on third down, uh, and they had eight turnovers. Grandma State, 7-0. and And we're getting our first look at the BCS standings, and Grandma State is your number one team in the country, followed by Penn State in at number two. BYU, our next opponent, is third. Oklahoma State is four. Army is five. You got Pittsburgh in at six. Oklahoma in at seven. Texas is eight. Ohio State in at nine. And two loss, Wisconsin is in at ten. Taking a look at the players of the week in the NC2A, and congratulations to sophomore corner Aaron Wilkinson. He got defensive player of the week with his five tackles, two for loss, three interception, and pick six game against Stanford. So it's time to hit the recruiting trail. We will have some prospects on campus this week. Number one tackle on our board, Brant Smith from Georgia will be here. Derek McBride, Reuben Brown, Corey Banks, and J.J. Rouse. And we also welcome the newest member to the recruiting class, the number one free safety in the country, Cedric Turner, the 6'1", 218-pounder from Seminole, Oklahoma. He was here last week and enjoyed his time so much that he decided to commit. And this guy is going to help our defense so much. 96 speed, 83 agility, 92 acceleration, 85 tackle, 79 hit power, 80 pursuit, He's got decent man coverage, decent zone coverage, and he can press. He will definitely see playing time his freshman year. So we take a look at the players that will be visiting this week. This is the number four tackle in the country, Brant Smith from Georgia. He's 6'4", 293. We're trailing Ohio State and Notre Dame, and this kid is going to be something special, man. Elite pass blocking skills, elite run blocking skills. His impact block needs a little work, and he is strong. Uh, he could push for playing time his freshman year. Also on campus this week is Derek McBride, the number 11 punter in the country from California. He has a strong leg and is decently accurate. We definitely need a punter going into next season. Next player planning to visit this week is Reuben Brown. He's a 5'11", 211-pound athlete from Port Lavaca, Texas. 
Right now we're leading over Oklahoma State and Northwestern. And he has running back traits, but definitely going to put him in the uh, quarterback room with that 86-man coverage. Uh, his jumping is decent. Uh, he needs to work on his hands a little bit, but I think with a red shirt this season, next season, he's going to be a stud. Also on campus this week is the big D tackle, Corey Banks. He's 6'4", 294 from Mississippi. He's the number 18th ranked athlete in the country, and he is definitely a D tackle, man. Look at that tackle ability, the hit power. Uh, he's got to work on his agility a little bit. Uh, he could be a decent three technique for us, man, with those power moves. Uh, I would love to see his finesse go up a little bit more, but the block shed is decent. And the last player that's visiting this week is J.J. Rouse. He's the number 15 athlete from Texas. He's 6'1", 200 pounds. Right now we're trailing behind Ohio State. It's a two-team race, and he's a wide receiver, man. He's got 89 speed, 82 agility, 92 acceleration, uh, great hands with 79 catching. Uh, I would love to see his spec catch go up a little bit more, but his catching traffic is decent. His route running is great. And he gets off of the jam, too. He could also play quarterback, but we're definitely going to put him in a wide receiver room. So right now we have the number 20 ranked class in the country uh, with just three recruits already committed. But, you know, you can always stay up to date with everything Grandpa State by following your boy on Facebook, Twitter, and IG at Big C Got Game. So the death schedule 2.0 gets tougher as BYU Cougars come into town this week. They come in undefeated 7-0 and and they're ranked third in the country They've beaten ULL, UCF, Middle Tennessee State, Arkansas State, Ole Miss, uh, Kansas State, Oregon. So actually we'll be the first team that they play that is officially ranked. That's crazy. The Cougs are led by senior quarterback Chris King. He's 6'1", 194. He's thrown for 1,609 yards, 14 touchdowns, and three interceptions. And this kid can move. He's got 84 speed, 82 agility. Uh, He's got a decent arm. Uh, it's accurate, but not that strong, but he is a runner first, man. He can break tackles. He's elusive. Uh, it's going to be important that we have that shadow on him this week, and we wrap up and bring him down. In the backfield, Adrian Sowell leads the team in rushing with 658 yards and nine touchdowns. His backup is Travis Davis. He's got 294 yards and three touchdowns, but there's King again, 284 yards and seven rushing touchdowns. We got to make sure we wrap up tackle these guys, and bring them to the ground. Out wide, senior wide receiver Billy Thomas leads the team with catches with 32 for 608 and eight touchdowns. Second on the team is Todd Austin, 28 catches for 526 yards and six scores. Then you have the tight end, big tight end, 6'3", 248. This is Levi Tucker, 20 catches for 241 and a score. Greg Paul has 19 catches and two touchdowns. Then you have the other tight end, Terry Webb, 15 grabs for 325 and two scores. Uh, Just looking at these guys, I like our matchup with our secondary. They are playing lights out right now. Um, So I'm interested to see how they'll match up this week. On defense, freshman outside linebacker Brandon Benson leads the team at tackles with 48, followed by star player, the captain, Bill Bowser. He has 43 tackles. Then you have defensive end James Wallace, 6'3", 264. He's got 33 tackles on the season. Wallace also leads the team in sacks with four and a half. Then you have Brendan Benson, the freshman, two and a half sacks on the season. Bowser has two sacks. Jeremy Moore, the left end, he's a freshman. He has a sack and a half, followed by Jared Lloyd. He's another freshman, redshirt freshman with a sack and a half. And then Damian Hearn, the middle linebacker, 5'9", 233, he has a sack. In the interceptions department, Leslie West, the free safety, he has one interception, followed by Marcus Spence. He has an interception. Bowser. Wallace, Coe, and Taylor each have an interception. Let's dig deeper into this BYU roster. Let's start off by looking at wide receivers. Billy Thomas is the number one wide out, 91 overall with 94 speed, 95 acceleration. Greg Paul, second on the team, 83 overall with 85 speed. And then they take a big dip. Todd Austin's a 71 overall. And then you have George Concepcion. Concepcion? Okay, 71 overall with 84 speed. Again, I like our matchup. Our secondary is way better than they are. Taking a look at their offensive line, Tyson Keith is the left tackle, but he is out, so that means you're going to see Jordan Sullivan, a 69 overall freshman. Then at guard, you have Derek Webb. He's an 84 overall. Marcus Gibson, one of the best centers in the country. He's a 91 overall. Then you have Michael Smith, right guard. He's a 90 overall. 
And then at right tackle, Joel Harris, he's a 72 overall. I'm just going to say it now. Our defensive ends are going to eat this week. Caleb Causey, Nick Sellers, double-digit sacks for both of them. On defense, Brian Irvin is left in. He's an 82 overall. He's a junior. Then you have James Wallace, the sack leader. He's an 83 overall. At D tackle, they're kind of thin, man. 76 overall. Adam Flanagan is a f- true freshman. Then you have Bill Bowser. He's an 86 overall with 93 speed and 97 acceleration. Damian Hearn is your middle linebacker, 5'9", 233. He's a 78 overall with 83 speed. And Michael Morgan is his backup, a 72 overall. Brandon Benson, the freshman, 6'2", 242. He leads the team in tackles. He's a 78 overall. Our wide receivers are about to ball this week. Nick Cole is an 84 overall with 93 speed. Then you have Marcus Spence. He's an 83 overall with 92 speed. Lamont Walker is a 77 overall with 92 speed. And then Jonathan Higgins is a 71 overall with 82 speed. Need I say any more? At free safety, you have Leslie West. He's uh, 6'1", 201. He's the hard hitter. He's got 85 speed and 89 acceleration. And then at strong safety, you have Spencer Cohen. He's a 73 overall with 86 speed and 92 acceleration. And it looks like Herbie is rolling with Grambling State this week, and I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be shocked if Grambling does not break 50 on this team, man. Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're brand new, and don't forget to hit those links down in my description. Follow your boy on Facebook, Twitter, and IG at Big C Got Game. And we'll see you from the home with this top five matchup, BYU taking on Grambling State. Have a great day, guys. Two fingers in the air. Peace.